swing. So we have a, a swing low here, a low zero, we have low one, we have I zero, then we have a bullish FVG formed on the way up. And uh, same thing here. So in the case of uh, buy trades, this is the model. In the case of sell trades, this is the model. So let's go straight to the templates we're using. This is the template we're using today. Uh, I have four functions already created. I have a create object function, which we're going to use to mark out the swings on the screen. We have a delete objects function to remove objects created by the created object function. Then we have a create rectangle function for the fair value gaps. And I have this piece of code. This piece of code, you know, the uh, MKL5 works with sticks. So we want to work with bars. So this is converting the tick, all the tick information into bars. We want to work with bars. So this code. Uh, convert all the tick to the bars of the current period. So this is what I'm going to start with and let's get into the business. So we're going to create an integral function. We're going to call it swing points. It is this function is going to return zero. All integral functions eventually return zero. So return zero. We compile. Yeah. So now we're in business. To get a point on the uh, to identify a point on the charts, you need two information. You need the price and you need the time let's say for example this point here if we want to identify this point here we're going to identify the time and the price so back here where we want to get our swing points we need four arrays to store uh the information that we're going to use in marking out our swing points. We need to save the eyes, the lows, Okay, so uh, before we go, I reset as a series eyes true. Okay, Okay, no error so far, so we're good to go. Back to our function, so uh, we need to copy price information and we do that using MKL rates. We save it in the rates array. Array set as a series again
okay so we're getting it done bits by bits so now uh, the next step is to identify the swing point we need uh, logic to detect our swing point so uh, let's go back to the chart and find out what the swing point is so a swing point is a point like we identified here where the eye, eye the, uh, okay a swing eye is a point where the highest price is greater than the price on the left and the price on the right and a swing low just like we have here is uh, oh that's the wrong arrow a swing low is one in which the price is also lower than the price on the left and the price on the right. So since we have set arrays as a series, this is um, one when we count uh, the numbers of candlesticks. Now we count from the right to the left. So this is candle one, this is candle two, this is candle three, this is candle one, this is candle two, this is candle three. So uh, what's the to detect a swing, we need swing two to be lower than swing one and to be lower than swing three. And for the swing I, we need swing two to be higher than swing one and to be higher than swing three. So uh, let's go back to our code and swing detection. Uh, uh, okay. Swing high. So, if uh, reads to dot i is greater than reads uh, three dot i and If we have this condition, we have a swing I. So for a swing low, we're just going to, okay, so okay. what does this, uh, when we have this condition, what do we want? We want to return one, return, oh, swing I return minus one, because a swing I is a cell signal and uh swing low is a buy signal so when we get to the visual demonstration in a few seconds you're going to so this is low okay I missed out the semicolon, so okay. So, but um, at the moment we cannot see the return. So that is why I started with the create object function earlier. So we can actually create um, we can create visual objects on the chart to see our swings. So let's try that. Uh, the create object function, yeah, it is, so it requires uh, the following, it requires the time, the price, the arrow code, the direction, the direction for uh, buy and uh, sell, then the color and the text. So here is the create object function, okay, create objects, uh, time, rates, True time, yeah.
uh, price rates to those high arrow code to get the arrow code I think um, is it the windings uh, where do you get this uh, Yeah, so which do we want to use uh, for bullish and bearish? Okay, I think it, yeah, it is uh, two three three for the bearish arrow, two three four uh, two two three for the bullish, two three four for the bearish. So this time we need a uh, two three four. You just get uh, the MKL five documentation by pressing F one. So. Uh, in this case, we need the two, three, four, and the direction. Uh, since we're using minus one for the return, so the direction this time is minus one. And yeah, color. For now, let's just use a color. But uh, we're going to change it to an input variable later, so you can select whatever color you want for the. So in this case color green okay and for the text uh, let, let just put high no need to write the swing high okay so in the case of the low let's just copy this and um, change the values Oh, yeah, raise two time, raise two time, raise two. Okay, so yeah, we have raise two time, raise two low. Here we have two, three, three. Here we have uh, one, no negative. Here we have, uh, let's use dark orange. Dark orange, and here we have uh, low. Can we compile? No, we cannot because I did not add the semicolon. Can we compile? Okay, now we can. So now let's um, run our strategy test and see. I have selected the FVGEA. We are on the one hour time frame. Let's run the visual mode and let's see. if our swing points are identified on the chat toolbox. Oh, no. Why? Why? Because I did not call the function. So now this function, we have to call it in the untick function. Yeah, I forgot to do that. OK. All right. Now I've compiled, let's try it again. Okay, so here it is. We have our swing points marked out on the charts. All right, I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we would move on to the fair value gaps. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll move further. So here is the code for the, for the function we wrote. All we just did so far is the simple path. Just this, just the swing point code. Uh, we defined, we detected the swings, and we marked it out on the charts. That's all. Oh, this is the code. So in the next code, we do something else. I hope you enjoyed this and look forward to the next video.